Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cheeky Science Show. So today we're going to look at what are the hallmarks of ageing. So firstly, what actually is ageing? So ageing is the progressive deterioration of an organism over time. It's pretty much characterised by the accumulation of damage and the loss of function. To understand the ageing process better, ageing has been characterised into different hallmarks that I will introduce in this video. So, so far there have been nine different hallmarks of ageing that have been proposed. The first four come under primary causes of ageing. The first of these is DNA or genetic instability. So DNA gets damaged and mutated every single day. Whilst the cell has ways of dealing with this damage, it is inevitable that over time damage will accumulate. The problem is damage can affect gene expression patterns and it can also directly affect the gene themselves. This can result in loss of cellular function. Second on our list is loss of proteostasis. So proteostasis includes processes that control the formation of correctly folded proteins because correctly folded proteins equals functional happy proteins. Next up is telomere attrition. So telomeres are often explained as being the shoe caps on chromosomes that remain the integrity of a chromosome. However, over time, the telomeres shorten and so this integrity gets lost. The last primary cause of ageing is epigenetic changes. Now, there is just so much to say about epigenetic changes uh, that I cannot explain it all here. But the key thing is, is that there seems to be changes in the epigenetic marks as you age. This can then alter the gene expression patterns and affect the stability of the genome. So now let's look at the antagonistic hallmarks. So these are the hallmarks that kind of respond to the damage caused. So first up is the deregulation of nutrient signalling. So nutrient signalling describes the responses to food intake and how that either elicits growth pathways or it um, promotes stress resistance pathways. So again, this is a really complex topic and it involves the interactions between different growth factors, hormones and intracellular components and how they get deregulated during high nutrient signalling. Next up is mitochondrial dysfunction. So mitochondria are essential for aerobic respiration, which enables energy production in the cell. However, over time, this process becomes less efficient. Therefore, the ATP, the energy required for many different processes in the cell, also become deficient. In addition, leakiness in the respiratory train can generate free radicals that can damage proteins and lipids in the cell as well. The last antagonistic hallmark is cellular senescence. So cellular senescence can be defined as a cell state whereby the cell no longer divides, it stops replicating. In addition, senescent cells have a secretory phenotype that can affect the surrounding cells as well. And so aging has been shown to correlate with an increase in the number of senescent cells. So now let's look at the integrative hallmarks which are effectively the output of the results of the first two categories and are ultimately responsible for the functional decline that is seen in ageing. So the first of these is altered intercellular communication. In ageing, this is characterised by an altered extracellular environment and an increase in inflammation. And lastly, uh, in ageing, there is an associated loss of stem cells. So stem cells are cells that keep on replicating and are there for regeneration and repair of tissues. Therefore, if they get lost over time, you are less able to repair damage in the body, which can lead to functional decline. So that was a bit of a whiz through the different hallmarks of ageing. If you want to find out more information, I highly recommend reading the review article, but I'm going to go into more detail probably uh, over the next few videos of the different hallmarks.